What's up guys, this is Hardik here and today we'll be taking a look at the best 7.1.1 ROM for our Google Nexus 5. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as you know, there are tons of ROMs on XDA present for our Nexus 5 but a lot of them are like really really buggy and others have no future updates. So basically, today I'll be showing you a ROM with less bugs and also with further updates guaranteed. So today we're taking a look at the Lineage OS for our Nexus 5 which is based on Android version 7.1.1. So yep, this is like the smoothest ROM for Nexus 5 present with all the pixel features also with system updates present within the ROM itself. So you could like just check for updates. So if there is an update, you'll like get it and you could download and install it and it will do everything by itself. Uh, so yeah, today I'll be showing you guys the features of this ROM and at the end I'll be showing you guys how to flash it on your Nexus 5. Uh, here you go, there's my Nexus 5. So let's just begin. So first of all, let me tell you that this is like not as customizable because 7.1 or 7.1.1 ROMs aren't that customizable unless it's like a CR Droid or a Resurrection Remix ROM. But those are like really, really buggy in my opinion. Uh, so this is like really close to stock, close to pixel image uh, with few customizations that I'm going to show you guys today. So first of all, here's the settings, uh, as you can see with the blue accents and stuff. Everything's like pixel kind of with the blue accents and with the pixel at home button animation as well. So there you can see also with the Google Assistant now present. Uh, but yeah, let's just go into settings real quick and as you can see everything here is normal with the NFC stuff uh, and everything like that Then going back we have display So we now have the nightlight mode as well, which is like Common in all the Lineage OS ROMs. So there's like nothing new here But yeah, it is present in this ROM. Then we have disable suggestions So this is this feature is like a really Handy if you want to disable the suggestions that you get on the settings menu, for example this. If you don't like it, you could like disable it from the display settings itself. Then we have adaptive brightness which is normal, rotation settings, uh, wake up on plug. We also have disable immersive mode messages. So the messages won't be like immersing on your entire screen. Uh, so we have prevent accidental wake up. So we also have a double tap to wake option here. Also double tap to sleep option. So if you have that enabled, you could enable this option, which will uh, in short prevent the accidental wake up if your device is in your pocket or something like that. Then we have screenshot type. So uh, I'll just quickly de demonstrate this. So if, if it's on like full screen, uh, take full screen screenshots. And if you like take a screenshot real quick, as you can see, we get the screenshot of the entire screen. Drag selection to take a partial screenshot. What it will do is, if we like take a screenshot real quick, it will black out your screen, like not completely, but kind of in this way, and will ask you to select the particular screen that you want a screenshot of. So if you select that, uh, it says couldn't capture screenshot. Let's just try again, and there we go. The screenshot is now taken and it's only of the particular section that you selected on your screen so that's like a really really neat thing then we go down we have display settings uh, font size and display size and stuff like that then going back we have notifications sound so in sounds we have the new ringtones of the pixel itself so you could also select launch music player once you insert your headphones and stuff like that uh, other than that everything's like normal volume steps and stuff so going back again, we have apps, we have storage, and again here, as you can see, you have, we have explore, where you could like get your file manager here and stuff. Uh, then going back again, we have battery, uh, and battery life on this ROM has been like really, I mean, not that good though. I mean, if you want a great battery life, I pre I'd prefer flashing stock again, but overall two and a half to max three hours of screen on time that too without without a sim card i'm getting around three hours of max but if you have a sim card in it uh, i'm not sure how much you'll get you'll maybe get around two and a half hours max on your daily usage but yeah again battery life on the nexus 5 wasn't even that good anyways so yep then we have memory uh, here basically it shows the ram usage or the memory usage of your phone then going down we have users we have gestures so here we have jump to camera so you could like double tap 
on the power button twice to jump to the camera also double tap to sleep if you enable that and if you double tap on the status bar your device will go to sleep uh, nothing else then if you go back we have buttons uh, here all the basic button stuff left handed mode the navigation bar you mentioned you could change that as well with the height and the width but i'd like prefer keeping it on stock because like that looks really really good and we have buttons and layout so you could space give space between uh, or remove the space between or you could center or decenter the home button and stuff then going back we have options for like long press of home button to do what we have double tap on home button to do what and stuff everything like kind of we used to get on cyanogen mod devices we have it on here so yeah power button volume buttons all the buttons like different different functions that you could give to a particular button are present here then going back we have ambient display uh, i've disabled this but it's basically the normal ambient display screen i don't know why it isn't coming on right now but yeah because maybe i don't have any notifications on my screen but yeah it works like normal ambient screen nothing like too fancy in this we have pickup we have hand wave like the moto gestures and stuff we have pocket uh, it says pulse notifications on the remove from pocket so it will it will like detect when you remove your device from the pocket and it will uh, i guess enable the ambient screen and stuff then we have location security accounts everything's normal then we have status bar option over here so in status bar here as you can see we have the quick pull down option uh, so it's fr either from off either from right or from left then we go down we have smart pull down uh, i don't know what this does actually uh, let's see no notifications okay so i guess it will disable the notifications when you pull down or something like that then we have brightness control bluetooth icon alarm icon show notification count system icon so you could enable or disable any icon let's say uh, if you don't want wi-fi icon over here so i could like disable that but the, the wi-fi still will be connected on my network uh, then going back we have network traffic so you could enable if you want uh, let's see outgoing incoming so it will display the incoming and outgoing bits per second so i'll just keep it disabled then going back again we have clock position to center right or left date the battery status icon if you want it on circle you could keep that if you want an icon portrait you could keep that as well even the battery percentage if it's hidden or next to icon yeah, you could like customize the status bar as per you want then going down we have google language and input date and time then finally about phone 7.1.1 nougat there you can see uh we have the easter egg as well there we go and again as i said we get the system updates here as well so no need to worry about if you could if you're gonna get the future update or no then we also have the developer options right over here so Yep, everything's like normal in this option nothing fancy uh, everything that you get on other devices similar you get it on here as well so yeah i guess that's pretty much about the rom again we have the pixel launcher we have the pixel icons and stuff uh, also one thing i've noticed here in this is that once we flash the rom file the only g apps work here in this is the micro g apps the nano doesn't work even the stock one doesn't work and the issue i faced again here was once i flashed the rom and the g apps and and the phone booted up there was no keyboard application so what i did was i downloaded work keyboard app on my other phone and i transferred it via bluetooth so i so yeah there's no keyboard so you could not even set up your phone from the beginning so if you could you so you just have to like skip through the setup and get into the phone enable the bluetooth transfer and then add your account and stuff like that also there was no camera app so i downloaded the apk from the apkmirror.com which i'll be linking in the description if you want uh but yeah other than that everything's like pixely stuff <laughs> i should say uh so yeah now i'm gonna show you how to flash this rom on your device so yep to do that just do one thing just power off your phone first so once it's powered off just hold the power and volume down at the same time so hold it once you get into the fast boot mode or the bootloader mode then navigate to recovery mode and yeah i'm guessing you already have the uh, twrp recovery on your phone itself on your, on your device itself 
also make sure that you are on the latest version of the DWRP recovery because if you're not you'll probably end up in a boot loop so if you don't want that just flash the latest one and you're good to go so once into the recovery the first thing you have to do is like backup your previous rom so just hit on swipe to backup and let the rom backup itself and then once it's backed up just go into wipe go into advanced wipe or either you could like swipe to factory reset but this is like the safest to unselect the dalvik art cache system data and the cache and then swipe to wipe so once everything's wiped i won't be doing it right now because yeah i, I already have the rom but then once that's done going to install swipe down select the cm 14.1 nightly i'll be linking the rom file and the g apps in the description below and again as i said the nano doesn't work the stock doesn't work so mini g apps that you need to download also linked in the description below so flash the rom file first then the g apps and then reboot your device and then you're good to go uh, again if you want the twrp app on your phone just do it or else not just do do not install and yeah that's about it guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and yeah more videos coming in future as well and i'll see you guys in my next one